Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 50 Easter eggs in game. So two quick things before we get started. If you're interested in taking a look at a specific Easter egg, I will have all 50 of them time stamped in the description. So if you're looking for a specific one, you can jump straight to any point you want in the video. And also, I worked on this with my good friend Dan Allen. I've known him for years now. Helped me out with a ton with this, especially finding the Easter egg. So big shout out to him. Check out his channel in the description as well. Anyways, let's get this started. Easter egg number one today is going to be the alien UFO on top of Mount Shan. So you guys might not have known that there is a second UFO that appears. Basically, you just need to go to the top of Mount Shan at 2 a.m. You need to look to the south and you will see an alien UFO floating off in the distance. I'm not sure if this is anything to do with the first UFO, which we'll touch on in a bit, but that's pretty cool. A second confirmed UFO in Red Dead Redemption 2. Easter egg number two today is the Barrel Rider. So I'm not sure what this is a reference to, but it looks like there was someone who was trying to ride a barrel or who was inside a barrel who ended up crashing at Shady Bell. So I'm not exactly sure what is going on here or what this is a reference to, but you can find this mysterious person hanging out of a barrel on the shore of this river. I think this might be a reference to a scene from The Hobbit, which again, we'll also be taking a look at a little bit later. Easter egg number three, the man in love with the sheep. So you'll actually find this guy in this sort of barn. There's a black sheep with a pink bow around its neck. And this guy has his pants down and you can actually find a wedding ring on this sheep but the fact that this guy is face down with no pants on in a sheep's house i think there was something pretty weird going on here let's just say that number four today you can find the bones of either a giant or a sasquatch i'm really not too sure what it would be but look at the size of these bones i mean just the leg is like the size of a normal human and I mean, you can see the remains of some other pretty big animals around here as well. So again, I'm not sure if this is Bigfoot, Sasquatch, or something else in between, but this, whatever it was, is a massive creature. Number five today, there is a creepy like exorcist woman that is actually found in this like outhouse. And this has to be one of the creepiest Easter eggs in the game. You can actually peek inside the window, but do so at your own risk because this lady will like swing her arms out at you. Uh, this is actually like behind the Braithwaite Manor. I'm not gonna spoil the story in terms of, you know, what that means or who those people are, but it's not surprising that someone like this is actually trapped behind their house so that is incredibly creepy again go there at your own risk number six today night zombies so be careful if you are traveling alone at night these like night zombies will come out and attack you especially if you're around the swamp area they're like these half dead people that will come out and try and ambush you at random points like how creepy is that so I would be very careful if I were you doing things in the swamp area. You might be attacked by one of these night zombies. Number seven today, there is a deformed singing man. I mean, this guy seems to be having a, a good time with his banjo, but man, is this guy deformed. Like, I don't know if he, you know, stepped in some, you know, nuclear waste or whatever the case is, but he is pretty deformed and uh, he is just a, a really cool banjo player. But uh, man, I have no idea what happened to this guy but I, I think it's going to remain a mystery too, but uh, he is just pretty crazy, pretty big, and he's also not a fan if you get a little bit too close to him. You can actually beat him up as well, which is kind of funny. Number eight today, you can find a crashed flying machine. This is actually a reference to Red Dead Redemption, uh, one of the missions in there, and this was one of like the first prototype airplanes as they obviously hadn't been invented yet, and you can see that this prototype was clearly not a success and uh, this person crashed doesn't look like it's the best design but i guess you got to give them an a for effort 
Number nine today, the ghost train. Yes, there is a ghost train in Red Dead Redemption 2, which is very, very spooky. Uh, it only comes out at one spot and at a certain time during the night, but it is clearly there. Like you can see the, the headlight of the ghost train. It illuminates the world itself. Uh, it's a little bit easier to see if you slow it down or if you're looking for it in this specific spot. But yes, there is a ghost train in Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 10 today, you guys can find a giant snake hanging from a tree. This would be pretty creepy to run across in real life. Um, I think this is a reference to the Jungle Book, if I had to take a guess. But this snake is massive. It has to be like 30 feet long. And imagine if you didn't know that was there and you thought that that was real and that just appeared out of nowhere. That would be insane. So that is a giant snake that you can find. You can find a creature in Red Dead Redemption 2 that apparently has claimed himself to be king of the forest. He sits in this tree and he's made like a thrown out of the branches. It's actually pretty creative and pretty cool, but needless to say, this guy is very creepy. He's like a hermit. He claims himself to be king of the forest, and uh, there's no way to actually get up to his tree, but you can kill him if you want. If you stumble around the woods at night, you might find yourself a meeting of some clan members. They're all holding torches, and then they decide to burn a cross. And uh, you can choose to do whatever you want here, including leaving them alone. Or you could also throw down a stick of dynamite, which I'm sure most people would enjoy to see. But you can see this meeting happening in the woods in the middle of the night. It's pretty creepy nonetheless. Also in the woods, you can find a massive meteor strike that happened. It looks like this meteor was huge, as you can see sort of the radius of the trees that have been blown back and the crater that it made. And in the very center, you can actually find a meteorite as well. And uh, maybe this is one of those that happened to take out the dinosaurs. Who knows? But that is cool, and you can only really see the tiny fragments of the remains of the meteorite. In fact, you can even take a little bit of it as well. There is a massive prehistoric mammoth that you can find towards the northern part of the map. I mean, this thing is absolutely huge. Now, there's a lot of dinosaur bones throughout the game that you find, but nothing like a massive mammoth that you're going to run across. So that is pretty crazy. And I don't know how something like this hasn't been buried by the snow, but nonetheless, that's a really cool find. Rockstar continued the trend of ghosts in their game from GTA 5. You can find a pretty scary ghost in the swamp, and uh, she has a pretty interesting story to tell as well. Now, what's interesting about this ghost is she'll actually come back on multiple different days. So if you come back like 24 hours later, you can actually find her in a different spot telling a different story. If you follow these birds, you can actually find and talk to a giant. That's right, a giant apparently living either in the mountain or is the mountain or on the face of the mountain. I'm really not too sure, but there is a giant in there that you can talk to it. And uh, if you actually come back three days later, you can have another conversation as well. So again, pretty interesting Easter egg right there. You can literally speak to a giant. This one is definitely creepy. Inside this house, you'll find like this mangled man-made creature. And this is insane. I don't know if this is like a man, bear, pig, or whatever the case is, but it is not normal at all. There was definitely some creepy experiments going on in here. I'd say out of all the Easter eggs we're looking at today, this one is definitely one of the creepiest because what the heck is this thing and how was it created? Will we ever know? I'm not sure, but I do not think I want to find out. You can also find a house that has a smaller meteorite that has gone through the top of it, which is slightly unfortunate. It seems to have taken out everyone in its path, which is really bad luck for them. Uh, you can also, if you watch by the house as well, you can actually see meteorites going above it, which is really cool. So come back at night if you've been to this place and you'll see a meteor shower above it, which is really cool. There's a really tiny church in the swamp of Red Dead Redemption 2 for potentially really tiny people. I'm not too sure, but you can actually go inside if you crouch and like it's a real church. It's just a shrunken down version. 
as you guys can see here. It has like everything. It's It's got places to sit. It's got like the altar up at the front. So uh, it's a very tiny church, but it seems very usable as well. If you've made it to St. Denis, you can actually discover five mysterious writings around the city that will actually lead you to a vampire. And uh, the vampire is one of the creepiest characters in Red Dead Redemption 2. And there's a lot of different outcomes with this vampire. He can kill you, you can tie him up, but you have to act fast because he has like one of the craziest knives in the game and he will literally stab you instantly if you're not careful. So you've got to be cautious with this guy, but yes, there is a vampire that is lurking around in Saint Denis. We can also find the Hobbit's house, the little hill home. This is really cool. It also has like a mysterious symbol on top, something like you'd see on like a Mount Chiliad mystery. Uh, in game, it's called Mysterious Hill Home, but if you've seen The Hobbit, you know that this is a direct reference to the main house that he lives in, which is really cool. Unfortunately, you can't go inside. It would have been nice to see what was going on in there. But either way, still a pretty cool Easter egg. If you travel to the fence in St. Denis, you can actually spot a Easter egg from Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. There's actually a mask on the shelf that you could unlock in Undead Nightmare, which is really cool. Uh, it was also a big part of the storyline in that game. So it is on the fence shelf. Unfortunately, you cannot buy it. That would have been really cool, but it is available there for you to see if you are interested. If you're in the swamp area of Lackey and you come across this little cabin, you might want to turn away because you'll come across a man named Sonny. And uh, Sonny will invite you inside. And uh, if you go inside, something kind of bad is going to happen to you. Sonny is going to knock you out. He's going to talk to you pretty weird. He's going to steal some of your money. You're going to wake up uh, the next day later and all your cores are going to be drained. So what exactly happened to you in there? I'm not sure, but it cannot be good as you've woken up with less health, stamina, and you have less money. So if you're in the swamp area, avoid Sunny. Something very creepy went down in there, that's for sure. On this ship, you can actually find a pretty cool device. It is a phonograph, which would have been used to record and play music back in the day. It's a point of interest, and obviously you can check it out if you are interested. Unfortunately, you can't use it to play music. That would have been the coolest bit. Or even if you interacted with it, it, it played some music. But unfortunately, that's not the case. This is pretty messed up. There's like this donkey lady creature that can be found at Beecher's Hope. Um, it's like going around this well or something like that. I have no idea. This kind of goes on the level with the man bear pig as like one of the creepier things that you can find in game. So uh, that right there is pretty interesting. I don't know what was going on at this camp, but apparently there's things called donkey ladies around. At Clemens Point, you can also find these strange carvings in trees. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be or who they're supposed to represent, but they're faces that have just been carved into trees. There's about four or five of them, all with different faces. I'm not sure if they're important figures or just random drawings, but uh, maybe you guys can help us answer that in the comments down below. At Clemens Point as well, you can also find a fossilized man. Not necessarily a grave, but literally a man that has been fossilized into the side of the rock. I wonder what happened to him to be able to be stuck in a position like that. All I know is that's pretty interesting. Near the top of the map, you can also find a frozen camping couple. I'm not exactly too sure what these two were doing, but you can find them underneath a tent and they actually have a map with them. And that map is actually the panoramic map that you can look at. And apparently it is another mystery in the game in and of itself. And uh, that map uh, will lead to some secret spots that you can check out too. Again, not sure where they are or what they mean, but that frozen couple unfortunately did not make it out of the snow. You can also find what looks to be a frozen settler or like a frozen Spanish conquistador or something like that. Uh, he's also located near Mount Hagen. And if you inspect his corpse, you can actually take his helmet as well which is really cool. It has like a giant feather that comes off of the top of it. It's pretty unique, but that guy is obviously well frozen, didn't make it, 
What he's doing on the top of the mountain, I'm not sure. Near Strawberry, you can also find a stuffed gorilla coming out of a cage. No, that is not a real gorilla. There is a taxidermist that apparently lives nearby, and it looks like this might have fallen off of the bridge or off of his truck, and you guys can find this stuffed gorilla just hanging out in this cage, which is pretty creepy, let's just say that, if you were to come across it in real life. There's two points on the map that you can see lightning strikes actually happen. One is southwest of Ansberg. So if you go to this location and the weather is right, you will literally see a lightning bolt impact, which is really cool. So that is a rare weather opportunity that will only happen in one of two spots in the game. And that's pretty awesome. At the top of the Grizzlies East, you can actually find a meditating monk on the top of the mountain. Now, you can't do anything with him other than bother him and annoy him over and over and over again. But uh, apparently, this guy is trying to find some zen, find some peace on the top of the mountain. And uh, he's just sitting there meditating, which is cool. Good for him. I'm not sure what to call this Easter egg. I'm going to call it Wolf Man, although the game calls it Feral Man. It's literally a man that lives in a cave surrounded by wolves and is completely naked. So I don't know what to make of that, but there is a very, very strange man in a cave with wolves. I mean, that's got to be Wolfman, right? I mean, he even has a journal that you can look at. He talks about his runaway diary. It's pretty creepy, but it's a very interesting find if you can discover it. So go check out Wolfman. Just west of Strawberry, there's also this mysterious statue. It's called an obelisk in game. I'm not sure who built it or why it's there. Arthur doesn't offer any explanation as to why he wrote it down in his journal, but it's there, you can find it, and it's a pretty cool point of interest. On the very east side of the map towards the top, you can find this rock with this old world script on there. It's like a language that I've never seen before. It's like hieroglyphics or something like that. And you guys can see that it is like on the farthest east point on the map, like east of Ansberg, which is really far on the coast. So I'm not sure what this mysterious rock actually means, but uh, it's a place that you can check out. You can also find this very mysterious pagan ritual going on with this like torso impaled in the center, surrounded by candles and whatnot. Now you can also take the mask off of the top, which is kind of cool. It's like this ram head mask or something like that. Either way, I have no idea what's going on here. All I know is it's pretty creepy. Let's just say that. There's also a haunted forest apparently in Red Dead Redemption 2. Take a listen to this. See if you can hear the voices. What's that terrible noise? Isn't that creepy? What the heck is going on here? All I know is that forest is one that I am definitely going to be staying away from. Just north of Barrow Lagoon, you can actually find a defaced grave. Like literally someone dug up a grave which was buried in like a casket and a coffin and everything like that i don't know who this person was or why they wanted their grave to be defaced or why they got their grave defaced uh, but apparently they were not very liked or someone wanted to extract some revenge near horseshoe overlook you can find this rock called the register rock and i'm not sure what it is but a lot of people write their names on there like J. Brooks, S. Gray. There's a lot of dates on there too. So apparently this is where people just scribble and engrave stuff. Uh, maybe important memories or questions they want to write for people. I'm not sure, but apparently this rock was used for communication. Just south of Little Creek, if you come across this cabin, uh, be ready to get scared because there's actually a bear jump scare inside if you actually open the cabin door and you have to spam circle in order to break free. And if you don't, you're actually going to die. You're going to get eaten alive by the bear. So just be careful about that. This cabin has more than meets the eye. If you go to this shack just north of Heartland Overflow at 2 a.m., you're going to find that another UFO is going to spawn above your head. This is the very first UFO that we discovered in the game. I think it's also supposed to be a parody of a very popular cult that happened uh, that did something similar like this. You read that mysterious sermon and then boom, the Easter egg will appear in the form of the UFO right above the cabin. Just to the west of Coulter where you started the game, after completing this Strangers and Freak mission, you can actually find a robot on top of the mountain. Yes, that's right, a robot. 
This seems very advanced for 1899, but a robot was created. He got lost and found his way to the top of the mountain. And you can clearly see he is lost. He is looking to return home. But unfortunately, I don't think Arthur is going to be able to help him in that way. We can also find this very interesting secret tombstone that just has the names of various workers. Kind of creepy, the fact that they all are dying so close together. Worker 19, I think it says 6, 26, 27, 5, 33, 19. It goes on and on and on. They all died like months apart from each other. So I don't know what accident this was or what incident this was, but this is the mysterious tombstone of the workers that all died in 1878. So there's actually a serial killer that you can find in game and the serial killer itself isn't the Easter egg, it's his name. His name is Edmund Lowry Jr., which would be short for Eddie Lowe. Eddie Lowe was a serial killer in Grand Theft Auto 4. Rockstar making a direct reference to Grand Theft Auto set in Liberty City and a serial killer in that game. In Valentine, you can actually become a peeping Tom. You can spy on a drunk couple trying to get it on at the late hours of night. Unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, depending on what you wanted to see, they are so drunk that they literally can't even do anything. Uh, and you will get some negative karma for actually watching. But it is a pretty funny scene to witness as these people just have no idea what they're doing. There's this super creepy area on the map that apparently was hit by the plague. As you guys can see, there's like this barn. It's a town called Pleasance, I think, or it's a shack. And it literally says, stay out plague. So could this be Rockstar hinting at maybe Undead Nightmare Part 2? Who knows? That would be pretty cool. There's also this massive warped tree that you can find. I'm not sure what happened to it. Was it struck by lightning? You know, was it just deformed by something? There's also a grave right underneath it as well. But it's pretty crazy. Like, it, it seriously looks like it is not even a, a right tree. So pretty interesting stuff right there. Apparently, there was someone trapped inside of a well. If you go to this location right here and climb down the well, you can find like these scratch tick marks on like the wall, which would indicate that someone was maybe trying to say like, I've been down here for X amount of days, which is a pretty creepy reference. Let's just say that. Although I'm not sure how they were stuck because there's a ladder there. So it was the ladder added recently or, or were they just stuck down there when the ladder wasn't there? I'm not too sure. We're nearing the end, Easter Egg 49, The Face in the Cliff. This is like a Mount Rushmore parody. Uh, so this is actually really cool. It looks like someone was working on carving some faces on the side of a mountain. Be very careful with this. You do have to stand on like a scaffolding in order to examine it and have Arthur write it down in his journal. And uh, that obviously is really high up, so you don't want to be falling down. But that is pretty awesome, sort of a Mount Rushmore uh, Easter egg. The only downside to this is it is kind of a sad story. You can find the sculptor there as well. But other than that, it's really cool. And I think that it's an awesome work that Rockstar included in Red Dead Redemption 2. And our final Easter egg today, number 50. I feel like this is a good one to throw in right at the end. It's actually another reference to a Rockstar title. And that is a bully Easter egg. So this requires a little bit of backstory. So in the UK, bully was not allowed to be called bully. So it was called Canis Canum Edit. And there's actually a weapon in game called Callaway's Revolver. And on the side of the barrel, you see that inscribed is Canis Canum Edit, which is really cool. A direct reference to, obviously, Rockstar Games Bully. And uh, they sort of immortalized it in Red Dead Redemption 2. But anyways, that right there is the top 50 Easter eggs in Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy this video. Uh, let me know what was your favorite Easter egg in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.